Welcome to Green Gables. It was a lot bigger than I expected it to be actually. Just in general, everything and the amount of animals here as well. It was a really, really nice surprise. Everybody has their image of Green Gables. And the first place we shot was Prince Edward Island. So that was the sort of hot entire setting. Then we came here to do the sort of summer exteriors. It's such an amazing place and it's such a beautiful house and the setting and the views and everything else that it just made, made it all almost simple. And then we went into the studio and it's incredibly brilliantly created. It's totally believable for the period. It's stark, practical, minimal, and we try to approach it in a documentary fashion more than a <coughs> fiction fashion. So. Of course, we make sure everything looks good and it's easy to stage the scenes in it. And, and we have to work with natural light a lot also because we're a period show. So you really have to think about where we place the windows and all that. But for the rest, I mean, you just try to be, you know, the plain truth, no frills, no fuss. Find an historic site is actually putting together components. So you look at what is natural, so you see where is the train, where is the station, where is the platform. All of those things aren't necessarily together. You look at putting together the pieces and then through the editing process, that's when you try to put something seamless together. There's a long scouting process where we look in a lot of small towns and we have had to move around the province and uh, southern Ontario to find the different looks. And then our showrunner Moira, our production designer, and our directors weigh in on that process. And we narrow down and then we'll really start to design the shots and look at how we want to shoot it. And then we bring it to life. So, you know, here, here we have Millbrook um, brought to life and just making sure that the colors and the textures and the world we're recreating um, can come to life for our audience. It's so magical for me because obviously Moira, Wally Beckett and I have been working on this for a couple of years now and reading every draft of the script and trying to imagine these places in our minds and then to find them, to come here and see it all in the flesh, it's really, really exciting. <laughs> and I think they've done a fabulous job. It's so much more beautiful than I could ever imagine it to be. It's utterly glorious.